Hey everyone, I finally got some chemicals to make aerogel and so in preparation I built this super critical drying chamber. So let me show you how it's built. Okay, here we have a 20 pound uh, CO2 cylinder and it says siphon on there which means that inside the tank there's a tube that goes all the way to the bottom. So when I open the valve I get liquid CO2 out the uh, output, out, out the, uh, the valve as opposed to just gas and there's no regulator, that's just a T with a, a gauge on it and the liquid CO2 flows through that copper pipe uh, tube rather and into the chamber there. So the chamber is really just a two inch uh, steel pipe fitting and I've got some smaller fittings, eighth inch fittings for valves on there. Now by opening uh, this valve over here, the far valve and this one, the chamber will fill with liquid. So this valve lets out the gas that's in the chamber, and this valve lets in the liquid. The valve on the bottom is for draining the liquid. So when this thing is actually used to create aerogel, what's going to happen is we're going to drain uh, solvent out the bottom. So the aerogel is going to be saturated with methanol, and this will drain the liquid CO2 methanol mix out of the chamber. So I'll, I'll do a video on actually making the aerogel later, but I thought I'd just show you this. Um, putting it together was pretty straightforward. It did leak a fair bit, so I had to use lots of Teflon tape. I don't think it's leaking now. I went around it with a tube. This is a really good way to check for leaks uh, and just listen for them with a tube like this. And It seems pretty much fine, so I'm going to leave it full of liquid CO2 and um, come back in a few days or a week and see how it's doing. The pressure gauge on a CO2 system uh, is not very indicative of how much uh, liquid or gas is in the tank. Uh, it's actually only an indicator of the outside air temperature. So inside the tank there's a mixture of liquid and gas and it'll, the, the pressure will be the same for a given outside temperature regardless of how much liquid is actually in the tank. So it's reading about 750 psi uh, which correlates to a temperature out here probably about 70 degrees F or something like that and uh, it'll stay 750 psi if the temperature stays the same as I draw down the liquid out of that tank. So as you can see I've been stocking up on all kinds of nice labware goodies and uh, hopefully in my next video I'll actually be mixing the stuff up and uh, doing the first step of aerogel. The whole process takes about a week or a few days depending on the size of the gel since uh, it takes time for the solvent to uh, diffuse out of the gel. Uh, but hopefully I'll have a video just showing the start of it or maybe I'll wait till the end.